Warning! Don't let our good deeds turn to bad thinking. Sometimes we get overwhelmed with the good deeds and things we do for ministry, for other people, for our community and our f- fellow brothers and sisters. And the devil is cunning to think that that could give us a ticket. One, with favor with God, and two, a passage into heaven. Friends, that is a smokescreen Satan wants to always place in front of you. I'm still stuck in the book of Ephesians, and it's been an awesome time going through this epistle that Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus. And in chapter 2, verse 8, it kind of sums up all what I'm saying right now. And Paul starts off with, God saved you by His grace when you believed. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with good deeds. In fact, I encourage you. The Bible encourages you to keep doing those good deeds. Friends, no one can take credit for being saved by God's grace when you believe. It's a gift from God. Hallelujah. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. Imagine rich people will be the only recipients of entry into heaven because their money will buy them good deeds. Ain't gonna happen, friends. Verse 10 of chapter 2 says, For we are all God's masterpiece. Hallelujah. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Hallelujah. Yes, friends. Today, I want us to recognize that no good deeds will that we do and have done and will do on this earth can open doors into heaven. It only comes by being saved by God's grace and through our faith. Daddy, once again, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word that instructs us so precisely and unambiguously. Today, we thank you for the opportunity of doing good and getting good works done in different areas of our lives and in service to others. But Dad, as we pray and ask you in Jesus' name that we be assured of our salvation because of your grace and our faith. Father, we want to ask you at all times that we maintain this mindset because at least any one of us would boast of our good works. Thank you, Dad, for reassuring us that we are the apple of your eye. And today, as I pray, and as your precious sons and daughters listen to this message, I pray that the Holy Spirit will change their thinking. And if those that are listening have not found you yet, they will today. I declare that. I speak it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Friends, indeed, Our good works will certainly not take us to heaven. So don't let our thinking be distorted. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed. In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed.